Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and recently in one of the freelance and agency groups I'm a part of, we were talking about AI writing, and if people use AI writing tools for their blog posts, books, ad copy, things like that. I do a ton of writing myself. I personally think that uh, a robot can't capture my voice, but... The fine folks over at AnyWord reached out to me and asked me to give a video review on their product over at AnyWord.com. So I'm going to give it a go today. Full disclosure, this is a paid video review, but it's going to be an honest review. As a matter of fact, I haven't even signed up for the service yet. This is going to be a first look and I'm going to give it a try by using AnyWord to write a blog post. So a couple of thoughts uh, before that. Again, I'm I'm not really convinced that this is the sort of thing that would work for me. Uh, I think I have a unique voice. I think anybody writing has a unique voice, but it's, sometimes it's hard to come up with topics. So uh, or or some people have a harder time starting. Right. I, I'm if I. If I think about conversations I've had with coworkers and colleagues, they'll say that I'm really good at at getting started and they're a lot better at the finessing part of it. So usually I'll get the words on the page and they will punch it up and make it even better. So maybe any word can help me get started and then I can insert my own voice into the conversation Before we jump in, though, if you do like this content, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I put out lots of videos, one or two a week, plus a live stream. If you want me to do a review of your product, you can head over to joe.casa slash video dash review. The URL is on the screen here uh, and use the checkout process. I will give an honest six to ten minute review of your product. Okay, let's dive into it. So here we are over at anyword.com. You get a seven day free trial, no credit card required. Plans start at $19 a month. I'm going to sign up for free and it looks like I can continue with Google. I will just do that. Okay. So my seven day free trial starts now. It's asking me what my role is. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So I am, I guess I'm a online business owner would be the best way to categorize me. I guess I can click a bunch of these Uh, copywriter. Sure. I do it all. (laughs) We'll click next. How many people in my company? It's just me. Enter my industry or topic. Uh, Let's say podcasting. Can we do podcast technology and computing? So create the first project here. So it's it's kicked me into an ad project. Uh, I don't necessarily want an ad project. So I just clicked exit. I'll click new project. And here is where I get to choose. So I can choose an ad. Uh, and there are lots of options for the type of ad. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Uh, and it creates all sorts of things for you. Now, I don't do I, I don't do a lot of I don't do any paid advertising. So I don't think I'm qualified to effectively review that part of the process. Uh, so I am instead going to evaluate creating a blog post. So let's create new project. Describe the blog post you want to create. Uh, I will say uh, the best ways to make money with your podcast. Uh, Let's see the best ways to make money with your podcast from sponsorship to affiliate marketing. How about that? Marketing. Industry keywords, podcast monetize, sponsorship, affiliates. Okay. Click next. It's going to generate a title for me. Seven ways to monetize your podcast. Five ways to monetize your podcast. How to monetize your podcast. How to monetize your podcast in 2017 
I don't know if this is like a game that's being played where like, but I don't feel like that's a good one. Uh, seven ways to monetize your podcast. It's very similar to a blog post I'm actually working on. So we'll click next on that. It'll create an outline. I think this, I think this is pretty neat. Oh man. Wow. Um, merchandise affiliate mark. Wow. This is actually uh sponsorship lead gen guest posting. That's not quite one. Uh, pay per click ads, invest in advertising through audio networks. So not bad, actually. Uh, merchandise affiliate merchandise is one I haven't even really thought of um, or I've, I've thought of, but it wasn't in my outline. Lead gen is good. Uh, we can let's change this one to membership. And subscription. Subscription. Uh, we can change this to, so it's cool that we can change this coaching services. Uh, lead gen, I guess is, is similar. Uh, but let's see, we've got merchandise, affiliate, sponsorship, lead gen, membership, coaching. And last one will say, uh, product selling products. We'll click next. Now it's going to generate the intro paragraph. I'm most curious about this. And I, I do want to point out the score. We, we've, we saw it above too. This is a predictive performance score uh, where it's, this is pretty unique. I mean, I haven't used a lot of these IA or AI writer uh, apps, but it, does its best to predict how well this intro paragraph, these headlines are going to do, which is, is pretty neat. So uh, let's see, have you started or are thinking about starting your own podcast in today's digital age? Podcasts have become one of the most popular forms of media. Uh, if you, if you're looking to turn your podcast into more than just a hobby, wow, uh, it's important to know how to monetize. That's really good. I think that's a really good intro paragraph. Um, new way to get your voice out there and connect. But when it comes to monetizing, you have to be creative if you want to succeed in a saturated media market. That's a really interesting one as well. I like the first one. This one has a terrible score, so I'm not even going to read it. Uh, let's click that and then go to next. Setup is complete. Let's continue to the editor. Okay, so here now it's it's created the blog post and now I can go through and generate each section. So what I'll do is I'll generate the first section here with you and then I'll, I'll go through the rest and then I'll give my overall thoughts. So I'll click generate. Okay. So, uh, it's, so it generated this based on the headline, right? Uh, while many podcasts are recorded for enjoyment, not profit, it's still possible to take advantage of your podcasting activities. Selling merchandise related to your show, like t-shirts or coffee mugs, uh, can be a great way to monetize without relying on sponsorship or affiliates. That's a really good point. Um, a simple Google search can help you find your audience's favorite podcast-related swag. Sites like Teespring or Shopify offer easy ways to sell shirts online. This is, I'm actually pretty impressed by this. Um, you know, I'd probably add Cotton Bureau here, and I, I of course, can edit any of this. Uh, I bet if I do edit it, it probably is going to, um, Bureau. I always spell cotton. I always spell bureau wrong. Um, I bet it remembers these edits I'm making. Um, but that's not bad actually. So I'm going to go through, generate the rest of the sections and then we'll meet back here and we'll see how it did overall. Okay. So let's take a, a closer look. Uh, monetization is affiliate marketing, a couple lines on sponsorship. It's one of the best ways. It's also one of the most difficult. I feel like I've written this exact sentence before. Uh, lead generation. I will say uh, at this point here that I accidentally skipped one and it looks like each section was generated on like a one-off effect. So I think that it kind of cues these up and I accidentally skipped a section. So um, it's fine though, because I was able to easily copy and paste and, and, and make the adjustment I needed to 40 million. There's an opportunity for membership subscription. Patreon is mentioned here. I would of course add my own mention of restrict content pro or doing it through WordPress, but this is great. 
uh, high-end coaching clients and selling products mentioned here on Amazon. So this is this is really good. I think um, you know it's a, it's it's at the very least a really great start. It starts sentences. It makes sense. It did a good job even with the sections that I added. Uh, and so now I can copy to clipboard or view the brief. If I copy to clipboard, I can then move it into one of my writing apps like Ulysses and create a new post here, paste it in, and then I could fill it out from here. But honestly, this is a really good start, and it, it did give me a few points that I, I don't think I would have thought of on my own. So uh, there, I will, I will say, so all in all, I would say that this service uh, exceeded my expectations. Um, I, what I would want to do because I've, I've heard that this might happen. I'm not saying that this has happened to any word, but, you know, they're obviously pulling this content from somewhere. Uh, and you want to make sure that it's not like a verbatim copy of text. But again, this is, this, in my opinion, should be a starting point. Not, I'm not just going to take this and put it up on my blog. Uh, it's given me a really good place to start. It's given me some ideas and some points. I might want to look up the citation here, but I think if you're generating, a, if you're trying to generate a lot of content or if you have a bunch of other projects, right? If you do advertising, emails is, is something that I might be interested in, right? I can, uh, I, this is going to, come up with a subject line based on your email body text. I think this is great because I don't, I don't even, my subject lines are terrible, but all in all, I think this is pretty, pretty good. It, again, it exceeded my expectations. So if you're interested, check out anyword.com. I'll probably, I've got, I've got a few more days to try it out. So I, I might try a few more things. And I mean, for 19 bucks, it starts at 19 bucks a month. Uh, I guess maybe a good thing to do would be to show the pricing page here, right? So we've got starter, uh, which ge uh, text generation, one seat, lots of different formats. It doesn't include the predictive performance. And it has, it has uh, I guess, word-based tiers, right? So if you're doing 15,000 words, uh, that's, I mean, you know, in, in based on what was generated here, that's, uh, about 30 blog posts, it looks like, um, you know, you can kick it up and it looks like it gets, uh, increases. Let's see. It increases in steps of 10 bucks. That makes sense. Um, so, or was that 20 bucks? I guess that was 20 bucks. Uh, yeah. So it looks like you're paying, you know, maybe it looks like it does go down based on the number of words and volume, but Starting out 19 bucks a month to help you generate some, some content might not be bad. If you want the predictive performance, then uh, based on 2 billion data points, uh, that starts at 239 a month. So, and uh, they want you to book a demo for that. You can just sign up right here. And if you pay annually, you get a 20% discount. So there you go. Honestly, I think, you know, I probably pay like 40 bucks or 50 bucks a month in streaming services. Um, but if this is going to help me generate content, which I do every week, lots and lots of content, it might be worth it. So, um, I'll let you decide that I, for my honest review, I was skeptical and I was pretty impressed. I made some changes to the content. There are a few points I'd want to check up on, but I think, I think the important thing to say here is it made starting a lot easier. It generated uh, almost 500 words for me to work with and expand on. All right. If you liked this video, uh, head over. Uh, I'm sorry. If you liked this video, give it a, a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to this channel for more great content. If you want to try any word, there'll be a link in the description. It's anyword.com. Uh, and if you want me to do an honest review just like this, head over to the URL you see on the screen here. It'll also be in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, get out there and build something.